So I now have a challenge for ESPN to produce something that is going to contradict what I'm going to show you. And this is Tommy Morrison's 2012 pathology report that was issued. And his blood was taken. And you'll see it says no viral inclusions, fungi, or bacterial forms are identified. And that was in 2012. And viral inclusions are a virus. So then in 2013, when Tommy passed away, I had his blood drawn again. And they asked if I wanted a, an autopsy. And I said, yes, I want a blood autopsy. So they drew his blood on September 1, 2013. And as you see, Tommy Morrison. And the final diagnosis of Tommy's blood, they did a post-mortem blood autopsy, no viral particles seen. And that means there were no viruses in his blood. And then again, at the end of the pathology report, no viral particles were found which means that there's no HIV in his system. But if you then still don't believe this, on the second page of the pathology report, we have here that it says no, see highlighted there, no retroviral budding is present. Retroviruses are the scientific term of HIV. So there was no retroviral budding present. And again here it says no retroviral inclusions or tubular ag aggregates were present. So no retroviruses were present and HIV is a retrovirus. And again, no viral particles were seen. I challenge ESPN to give me something to contradict this.